All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today, still in that, uh, still in that moving process. This is moving week. I'm not gonna have a vlog or a Wildcard Wednesday this week, but I am gonna try to get some videos up. And what I wanted to talk about today, in and amongst the packing chaos, is this Vaporesso Gen mod. Been waiting, just been chomping at the bit to get this up on YouTube. I'm gonna make some pretty outrageous claims about this mod. I'll save it for the video, but this mod might be like my favorite regulated mod of the year of 2019. I know, it's a big statement. It's a big statement, but we're gonna get into it. Um, I, I do have to do some packing and I'm actually looking for something to put on top of here. I'm gonna try to t track down my M-Turk uh, Turk V2 RDA because I have one in red. And the Vaporesso Gen comes in these great colors that are like, I don't know, fades, like gradients, like ombre colors, black to blue, black to red. And I picked out the black to red just because Fuck, I just think it looks so cool and I want to put a red RDA on top. So, got to find that Turk. Well, this is the Turk RDA, but I don't have the... I need to find the red cap. No, that's black. Okay, black might have to work on this. You just, I just, you just keep stuff, right? Just boxes of stuff. I'm just gonna build this Turk V2 uh, 24 millimeter and I'm gonna put the black cap on here. Man! What a freaking letdown. I was so excited to put that red Turk V2 on here. That's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this black Turk V2 on here. This is a, a nice sized mod, this 24 millimeter. I think this is actually 24 mil. I'm gonna try with the 25 millimeter cap just to see how it fits on here. Oh yeah, dude, 25 millimeter, no big deal. No big deal at all. There's not even any, any little bit of overhang. In fact, you could probably fit a 26 millimeter atomizer on here. Do they make 26 millimeter atomizers? I don't know. Plenty, plenty, plenty of power. One of the things I love about this Vaporesso Gen Mod, it's got plenty of power. And you can adjust it in voltage, not just wattage, voltage. Man, that's old school. That's my favorite. I love adjusting in wattage or, well shit, I love adjusting in wattage, but I also love adjusting in voltage. Well, packing is going about as well as can be expected. Packing is just a general, general suck fest. I have too much packing to do. And I hate these glasses. Why do I wear these glasses? All right, well, pitter patter. Los Angeles, California, where the light turns green, nobody goes. my very empty, very echoey new office. But if there's one thing I learned from yesterday's video, it's that all of this goes much smoother outside. Lifesaver. So yeah, this gen mod, I've just, I don't know. I've basically 100% fallen completely in love with it. Hi, Shneeko, what are you doing? What are you doing over here? 
like, okay, can I, can I, can I do this video now? Sometimes you just gotta give your dog some loves. It's kind of one of those things like from the very first moment that I grabbed this mod and held it in my hand, I knew, I just knew that I was really going to love it. And this is gonna be a completely subjective thing, but for me, for my hands, this is one of the single most comfortable mods I've ever held. I can't explain it, it's just, one of those shapes that I want to put in my hand. There are layers and layers and layers of like textured rubber on the outside of this. It's, it's almost a little bit difficult to explain until you like touch it. Almost feels like a, like a golf ball if the golf ball pits were smaller. I think that's the first time I've ever used the term golf ball pits. Vaporesso just generally makes really high quality stuff. The Vaporesso Polar kit was one of my favorite kits, just hands down. That mod especially, I also really, really liked like the fit and finish of it, the screen on it, the responsiveness of the chip. This Vaporesso Gen uses the Axiom chip from Vaporesso. They have full temperature control, custom TCRs, variable wattage and variable voltage, and it's all fairly easy to navigate with the menu. There's three buttons down here. Press and hold the middle one, and that takes you to, to your, whoops, I'm now adjusting the wattage. This takes you to the menu, you can adjust it. Pulse mode, power eco mode, smart TC, DIY mode. Now when you get into DIY mode, this is where you get to pick variable wattage, variable temperature, variable voltage. They still have the included super player mode as well if you like that sort of extra punch of power in your mouth hole. We're just gonna put this on variable voltage mode because I just love adjusting in volts. Unfortunately, the Vaporesso Gen adjusts in 0.1 increments, both in wattage and in voltage, and that just, man, that drives me insane. So when you press the up button, let's say right now I'm at 3.2 volts. I press up once, goes to 3.21 volts, and that, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Who adjusts like that? Please let me know in the comments. Do any of you adjust in 0.1? increments, whether it's voltage or wattage. For me, I wanna go from 3.2 to 3.3 with one click rather than 10. I will never understand the 0.1 watt increments. I don't like looking at my knees like that. I will say that the Vaporesso Gen and that Axiom chip on the inside, it's a great chip. It's nice and powerful. 220 watts if you need it, I don't, I don't really ever need above 100 watts, but it's there if you need it. It's quick, it's snappy, it's fast, it's responsive. I, I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say about this. I, I'm just literally, literally loving it. I might even go so far as to say, as of right now, this has become my favorite regulated mod. I mean, I'm holding this Vaporesso Gen up there with things like the Aug Vape V200, not the V200X, just the V200, and this. It's just, God, it's, uh, it, it's getting hot out here. I'm gonna have to wrap this up. So, vape budget hands, right? Let's get down to brass tacks. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this here Vaporesso Gen mod. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I can usually find it from about 65 to $70, which, yeah, I mean, that's like a vape budget hands area. It's under 100 bucks, so it's not like, if something's under 100 bucks, then it seems a lot more reasonable to me. And the 60 to 70, maybe 75 around the internet seems very reasonable for this mod. You're getting a, a banger. This is a daily banger, daily carry, Come on, planes! It is just the hottest out here. I apologize, we're gonna have to go back into Echo Land. Well, the audio's worse in here, but at least the video, I don't know, maybe it looks a little bit better. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna wrap this up, and that's uh, that's far than, than enough rambling from me. Let's play the Aliens game, because that's what I really wanna do, because I don't generally say this right out of the gate, but yes, Aliens game, yes. Hands down, 100%. I don't wanna be really without this Vaporesso Gen Mod. It's just, as I've said already in this video, so dependable, so reliable, so powerful, so quick and snappy, so comfortable to hold. Whoa, I can't really 
I see the vape on the white walls. I am, uh, I am highly, 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 highly recommending this mod. If you have aging mods, like you're looking to replace a regulated mod or something, Vapor SO Gen. Even if you have a good regulated mod that you use on the reg, dude, the Vapor SO Gen, I'm telling you, I won't steer you guys wrong. I love this mod. And real quickly before I get out of here, I've seen uh, across the internet some people having issues with their Vapor SO Gens, like the color coming off, like real bad wear and tear. I've had none of those issues. This has been in and out of backpacks, in and out of pockets. I purposefully drop it and throw it around. Well, yeah, nothing. I mean, the battery didn't even fall out. I've had literally zero issues with this. Some people were complaining about weak 510s too, like their 510s were coming out. I don't know. I, I've stress tested this. I've used it with all sorts of atomizers, pulled caps on and off while it's on it, and uh, that has been my experience. Your mileage might vary, but I can't, uh, I don't know. I gotta shut up. I can't say enough, like, enough nice things about this Vaporesso Gen. It's just something I'm just gonna keep using it. Just gonna keep using it. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. I got a lot more packing and a lot more moving to do. Links are not allowed in the description. So you're gonna have to use that Google food, but that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for bearing with me during the weird moving times. And as always, you guys, as always, no matter what's in your hand, let's definitely keep on vaping.